Right now, we're at the ground floor of the forest. This is where most scientific research happens. However, most of the biodiversity of the rainforest actually isn't found in this lower level. Some of the cutting edge new work in tropical ecology is actually occurring right now at the top of the rainforest in the canopy. And that's where we're gonna be going to. The canopy has been mostly untouched. It's kind of the final frontier of tropical research. The canopy crane is revealing small secrets that turn out to be enormous surprises. One of the coolest things about the canopy is that it's actually primarily populated by ants. Up to 50% of the total animal biomass is probably ants, which is ridiculous. It's not just their numbers, but their diversity. There may be 30 ant species in a single tree. One species has evolved into nature's master builder. Giant monuments hang from the trees. Research fellow Jane Lucas studies these cities, built by Azteca ants. The ants themselves are only about the size of a grain of rice, so it's shocking that something so small can create such a large structure. Each nest can measure up to nine feet long and house millions. But that's merely the tip of the biomass heap. The refuse from these ants is really impressive. There's this buildup of basically what looks like old coffee grounds. Jane has a hunch that one species waste may be the entire forest's treasure. There's only one way to find out if she's right. She needs to scoop some poop. I have placed buckets out underneath a lot of nests in the forest, and I go around and collect the refuse that's falling from these nests before it reaches the ground. Back in the lab, Jane can see just how potent ant waste really is. Compared to the soil and leaf litter around, the refuse is enriched fourfold in nitrogen, sixfold in potassium, and 16-fold in phosphorus. So it's a really potent nutrient. Each week, she adds roughly the same amount of waste to the plants that a nest would produce. The seedlings that I've been given the live refuse are growing two or three times higher than any of the other treatments. Jane's counted how many nests are on the island how much waste they produce. And she's done a few calculations. The results are astounding. We're looking at 10.6 tons of refuse being added every day to this island. Since the Smithsonian has been present on Barro, Colorado, almost 300,000 pounds of ant poop has fallen on every square yard of the rainforest floor.